you are having a terrific day. I am thrilled to be sitting in front of the camera bringing another video to everyone. If you are new here, welcome. This channel is about luxury, product reviews, skincare, lifestyle, planning and organizing, basically everything that I love and want to share with you. If you have any of those things in common, please click subscribe. I bring content weekly. Also, before we jump into today's video, next weekend I get to announce the luxury giveaway as well as some exciting channel news that I have been dying to bring to you. So tune in January 28th for the exciting announcement and all the details about how to enter. You will definitely need to be subscribed to be eligible for the giveaway, so make sure you click that little red button. I probably pointed the wrong way. I'm still getting used to that. With that, I'm going to jump in today's video. You can already tell by the title that it is about me time and self-care. And if you've been watching my channel and you watch the videos all the way to the end, first I thank you, but second, you would know that I end every video the same way, and I say take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. So today we're gonna dive into the things that I do during me time um, to really take care of myself first so that I'm better for others. My main goal in this video is that you find one thing that you can apply to the week that helps kind of take care of yourself and to love yourself a little bit and put yourself on your priority list. If you find more than one, that would make me even happier. And this is specifically going out to all you moms out there because you have one of the toughest jobs and one of the most thankless jobs because you always put yourself on the bottom of your priority list. So my goal and challenge to all you moms out there is to definitely choose one of these things and put it on your list and do it this week. Um, without anything else, I'm gonna jump into this video and I cannot wait to share what I love to do when I'm feeling a little stressed, a little disconnected from myself and just need a little me time. So, the first question in the tag is what do you watch or read during me time? Honestly, if I'm trying to de-stress and reconnect with myself, I don't watch anything because if there is one thing we know, you cannot flip through the channels without coming across something negative. And when I want to really reconnect and refocus, I don't want to risk being distracted by something negative, so I avoid the TV and really focus on reading. And that kind of changes up because what I'm reading changes, so I'll always grab the book that I'm currently reading, but there are a couple books that I will always grab just to flip through again and again and again because A, they're beautiful, B, I always learn something new, and C, I just really admire these people, so I'm going to show you what those are. The first book I'm going to read is quite fitting after my intro, and it's called The Mothers, a novel by Britt Bennett. Um, I originally saw this on Estee's channel, and I thought the cover was absolutely beautiful, and that's what will spark me about a book. So then I read what it was about, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is something I'm totally interested in reading about. I love a book that follows characters from childhood to adulthood. And I like that character study of like, oh, these things that happened in their childhood or teen years has impacted everything they do. This book is really great. It is probably going to be a January favorite. And I really, really, really love it. The other three books are from YouTubers that I really admire and enjoy their channels immensely. And just like I can watch their YouTube videos over and over again, I can look at their books over and over again. So the first one is by Tanya Burr and it's called Love Tanya. And it really is a book of everything. It talks about relationships, it talks about recipes, it talks about lifestyle, it talks about fashion, it talks about skincare. It really covers everything you could possibly think of, just like her channel does. And I can flip through this book all the time and find something new and really appreciate it. The next book that I can always flip through, that's hard to say, the next book that I can always flip through is Florida Force's The Lux Life. This is very much like Tanya's book where it kind of encompasses everything. And once again, it's just so beautifully photographed and such a gorgeously written book that um, no matter what time of day it is or how I'm feeling, I can always flip through and just find something that I really like. It has like little to-do projects. Just really love this book. And then the last YouTuber's book will come as no surprise. It is the book that I reach for all the time. It is one of the books that I have sought wisdom out of over the last couple months. And I truly feel like I've connected with her on so many ways because she is so authentic and genuinely herself. And that has to be Bloom Navigating Life and Style by Estee Lalonde. She is just a remarkable human being 
the way she delivers her YouTube channel with such honesty and reflectiveness and candor is the same exact way she has written this book. I find lines that inspire me, that challenge me, um, and once again, it's a book that also encompasses a lot. So she does weave her life story throughout, but it talks about fashion, it talks about your home, it talks about anything and everything that I'm interested in. Um, and it's just a wonderful book that I reach for all the time and just flip through because I will always take something new from it. Bloom, Estee Lalonde, you must get it. It's the book that I've been giving to all my friends as gifts because it's that great. Um, what do you wear during me time? Well, this could get awkward. No, um, I go for a really great set of flannel pajamas, my Restoration Hardware robe. Yes, Restoration Hardware makes robes and they're super comfortable. And my Mojave slippers. They are the best slippers you could ever get. Plus, they have a detachable rubber sole that you can wear them outside. So, I definitely recommend them. Yes, everything that I mentioned in this video, of course, I will have linked down below. What are your me time skincare products or beauty products? I really have just a handful that I reach for when I'm trying to relax, and of course, they're masks, and then also focus on moisturizing. So the two masks that I always reach for are from Origins. The first is the Ginseng Pill Off Refine and Refresh Mask. This has panics in it, it has coffee beans in it, it also has ginseng. It has a really nice energizing yet calming smell. It just feels really great and when you take it off your skin is smooth and feels really soft and moisturized and it's just a great, great mask. And I find that it says to leave it on like 10 to 15 minutes I believe. I will leave it on much longer, um, but uh, it's just a really great mask. And then the other one that I really love because I focus on the texture of my skin a lot and that is the Rose Clay Mask. This just has a very calming scent to it. It dries down relatively quickly. It comes off so easily. My skin feels really exfoliated and smooth and it's just a really great mask that I reach for when I just want to relax. It's not high maintenance. It's just super simple. And then the next two products I always reach for I will talk about this one first, and this is Sleepy Hand and Body Lotion by Lush. The reason I reach for this is if you want to feel relaxed, calm, and want to kind of like disconnect and just feel, oh, um, this is a great one to reach for. It is lavender. It is super smooth and buttery. It soaks in. You feel super hydrated, but the scent of lavender, everyone knows, is just very calming and great for stress, and it does make you sleepy. Um, so I always reach for this. This stays on my bedside table and I put it on every night before I go to bed as well. It's just a really great lotion. I recommend that you go out and grab it. The other thing that I have been reaching for a lot, especially when I just need to like rehydrate and feel kind of like re-energized and rejuvenated is my Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Yes, it's for nighttime, but I will use it during the day if I'm not going out and just taking care of myself. This oil, I was very scared to try. I was scared to try facial oils in general because I tend to get a little oily, but this really soaks into the skin. It is super hydrating. It has anti-aging and anti-wrinkle components in it, and it just really helps with my pores as well, helping to minimize the appearance of them, and I just really, really recommend a facial oil. What do you eat or drink during me time? Honestly, I like to keep it really simple. I make a really good cup of tea and I always pretty much reach for the same two. My two favorite teas are the Sweet Orange or the Passion Fruit Teas by Tazo. They're just delicious. And as far as what I would eat, I would really make like a great piece of toast with like really good bread. Not just like plain old sandwich bread that you like grab in the bag, but like have a really great like loaf of bread that you cut and you toast it. Um, and I prefer toasting my toaster oven. I find that it's like so much more even and like beautifully golden brown. Um, but like toast and tea is kind of like where I would go. The next question is what is your current favorite candle? This one has taken me completely by surprise over the last two weeks. I bought it thinking like, oh, those, those sound like scents that I would really love. I had no idea how much I would love this candle to the point where I've already ordered two more. Um, I bought mine at Neiman Marcus. It is no longer available at Neiman Marcus, but there are many other retailers. I'll leave alternate options linked down below. But surprisingly enough, it is the candle by Sarah Jessica Parker called SJP. You guys know I am a Jo Malone diptyque candle person. This has quickly become the only candle I burn in my house. I will also, when I don't have it lit, catch a whiff of it when I'm sitting in the living room and I'll just be like, Oh my gosh, I have to go light it immediately because it is that good. It is cardamom, clove, 
ginger, a little bit of cinnamon. It is warm and sweet and spicy. It is literally the mix of everything you could ever want in a candle. I love it. I absolutely love it. It runs about $48, um, but it's well worth it. And I've been burning it a long time and I still have a lot to go. But like I said, I've already got two more because it is that good. Would you ever go see a movie alone? Absolutely. I was actually just telling Steven last night, this is gonna sound so pathetic, but I was like, I'm gonna go see Beauty and the Beast by myself. And he was like, yeah, you're going by yourself. Um, because there's nobody that wants to go with me, let's be real. And that is like a childhood movie that is like, one of my favorites. I knew every song. My sister and I watched it over and over again. So I definitely want to go see the live version of it and I will go by myself. I have no problem going to a restaurant or going out to a movie by myself. I think what that comes from is I travel a lot for work. I'm actually leaving tomorrow for New York City for the week, um, which is where I'm typically at for work a couple times a month. But um, I have no problems going to a restaurant by myself and sitting. So. Uh, yeah, I have no problem going. Favorite online shops. That is one thing I will do when I'm getting some me time. Um, you guys probably already know this. I will go to Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, ASOS. Those are pretty much my three online shops because Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom's pretty much cover everything. And of course, I peruse Louis Vuitton and the Burberry website um, and build ridiculous wish lists. So uh, yeah, I will online shop anywhere. If you guys have any other great online shops that you love, please leave them linked down below because I'm always looking for new and exciting ones, especially ones around like home decor and home organization. So please, please leave those down below. Anything else you want to add? Yes, there's just a couple other things that I do to really make me time a little bit more special. And one is I will take my favorite fragrance, which right now is Jo Malone's Murantonka, and I'll put it on my pajamas or on my bathrobe just so I can smell my favorite fragrance at that time. And it always brings a little bit of joy and relaxation to it. The other thing that I do that I think is the most important is turn off your phone. That is all that I have for you. I hope that you have found one thing that you can apply to your week. But here's the deal. If you don't put it in your schedule and you don't give it a set time, you're never going to do it. So not only do you have to choose one thing, but you also have to put it into your schedule so you actually follow through. Please leave a comment down below of any of the things you're gonna try this week to take care of yourself. I definitely wanna know. And if you have any me time, self care tips, also leave them down below because I'm always looking for more. If you are not subscribed to the channel, remember, click subscribe and also, you can catch lots of pictures and lots of content if you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here. But I will leave this video like I leave every video, and I think it's the most fitting time to end it this way. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Bye-bye.